गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इकोलॉजिकल सक्सेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इकोलॉजिकल सक्सेशन इज द सीरीज ऑफ स्टेडी एंड ग्रेजुअल चेंजेस इन द स्पीसीज कंपोजिशन ऑफ अ गिवन एरिया with respect to the changing environment over time so suppose we have an area here right this is the area so first species that comes here is a now a could be a plant so at first only species a dominates the land then gradually the environment becomes more favorable and species b c d etc come so there other plants or animals or microbes so we can see species composition is changed right first we had only species a now we have species variation like b c d etc and this is a predictable change because it is always predicted that plants will occur first before animals since plants can make food now the aim of ecological succession is to reach equilibrium in the ecosystem so what does that mean so equilibrium means balance when a community reaches equilibrium the populations of plants and animals remain stable and exist in balance with each other and their environment the community that achieves this aim is called a climax community it is the final stage of ecological succession a seral community is an intermediate stage found in ecological succession advancing towards its climax community that means the community is yet to be reached to its final stage and it is not a balanced community for example we can say plants are more abundant animals are less so the community is still imbalanced right so this is the intermediate stage or seral community actually the present day communities in the world have come to be because of succession that has occurred over millions of years since life started on earth actually succession and evolution would have been parallel process at that time let's talk about the types of ecological succession so there are two types of ecological succession such as primary and secondary succession primary succession is the succession 
that starts in an area that was never inhabited before. Such areas were lifeless, probably devoid of soil or had soil which was unable to sustain life. Example, bare rock or newly cooled lava. Now, before a biotic community of diverse organisms can be established, there must be soil, right? So, depending on the climate, it takes several hundred to thousand years to produce fertile soil on bare rock. When our earth was first formed, there was no soil. The earth was only made up of rocks. These rocks were broken down by microorganisms which eventually formed soil. The soil then became ground for plant life. Hence, in these areas, life starts from scratch. The first species that arrives during primary succession is known as pioneer species. Later, different animals could survive due to these plants. Then the progression from primary succession to the climax community happened. Next is secondary succession. So secondary succession begins in areas when the primary ecosystem has been destroyed such as in burnt or cut forests or lands that have been flooded. Land is recolonized after the destruction. Hence, here life starts after the area has lost all the life. Since some soil is present, which had already supported life before, the secondary succession is faster than primary succession. Plants emerge first, followed by animals. Gradually, the climax community arrives. Example of ecological succession, Acadia National Park suffered a huge fire and was completely destroyed. Only small plants were able to grow on the burnt soil. After several years, diversity in tree species occurred in the forest. Significance of ecological succession. So the climax community has greater biological diversity and larger biomass. It provides man with fuel, medicine, food, etc. It controls the climate and maintains biogeochemical cycles.